But joining us now, Republican candidate for California State Controller, Lan He Chen. He served as policy director for the 2012 Mitt Romney presidential campaign and as Romney's chief policy advisor. Lan He, it's great to see you uh, hey, jumping into the race here. Let's start with the first question, which is, what does the state controller do? What is that position? <laughs> It's essentially the chief financial officer of California. It's the person responsible for making sure that taxpayer dollars are accounted for uh, and ensuring that, frankly, there's a watchdog for taxpayers. Uh, you know, you got a state budget as large as California's, as many challenges and issues as we have in our state. Uh, the, the folks who set up our state government made the decision they needed someone who was going to watch out for taxpayers first, and that's essentially what the, the job uh, description is. Well, as you say, the state of California has one of the biggest economies, not just in the country, but in the world. It's a daunting task uh, to keep track of that budget, I'm sure. What are some of the central issues that you're concerned about and, and made you jump into the race? Mm -hmm. Well, you know, accountability really for all the spending we have. We had during the pandemic period massive amounts of money come into the state of California from the federal government, some of it for education, some of it for uh, ensuring that people were taken care of during that time. And unfortunately, a lot of the accountability is missing for that federal money. So that's the first thing. I would say the second thing is just making sure the state is working right. If you look at all the challenges that we have as a state, major cities like San Francisco and L.A., the tragedy of homelessness that strikes our state in too many places, the these are all the kinds of issues that we can make sure finally there's some accountability for in terms of state spending because for too many years I don't think there has been and so uh, these challenges are personal to me as somebody who grew up in California who cares deeply about the state and who has seen the challenges created uh, by bad public policy in too many places. Uh, Lonnie, um, uh, congratulations on jumping into the fray but um, doesn't California have a rather large budget surplus. Uh, and um, what, what is your thought about that money? Should it be returned to taxpayers? Should it be uh, or should it be spent to address some of these problems um, that, that you mentioned? Homelessness, their, um, their a, a zillion climate related um, crises happening at, in California at all the time. Um, uh, do you have policy ideas? Well, Eugene, the reality is that we're going from a $97.5 billion surplus uh, this year to a deficit posture over the next couple of years, and that's just because of the fact that we have a tax system that's highly reliant on capital gains. It's highly reliant on people essentially paying large amounts of personal income tax, and it's also highly reliant, at least it's been for the last year, on this federal money I mentioned earlier. So while we are in a good budget situation now, and I think we would be wise to try and look at long-term priorities like infrastructure, like making sure some of the challenges we have in the state in the long run are addressed. Uh, I do think that for now, really what we've got to be focused on is how do we make sure that we bring more stability to our budgeting situation and make sure that these longer term issues, I mentioned infrastructure, also pensions, massive challenge we have in the long run, that those issues get addressed. So I think the problem we have in politics generally, and I'm going to go outside of California for a minute, is that Politicians tend to be thinking really short run. What can I do right now to make my poll numbers better? What can I do right now to make my politics better? As opposed to thinking what's in the best interest of the state and the country more broadly as we move on. And those aren't the kinds of things that people like to focus on. They like to focus on short term spending, short term hits. But that is not, frankly, the posture that I think we need in our state nor in our country more broadly. Lanny, by and large, Republicans have done a better job shoring up local party positions around the country than the Democrats have done. Um, California is perhaps an exception, though, where it looks almost like a one-party state. Is there room for a Republican in a, in a position of influence like this in California? I would hope there is. You know, I think the reality is that there is a need for an independence in evaluating state spending. The controller is not predominantly a policy making role, it's predominantly a watchdog role. And I think when you have a one party uh, monopoly, essentially, as we have in California, there isn't an opportunity for someone to say, hey, wait a second, is this money being spent in the way that we intended it to be spent? And I think this is the reason why I've gotten the endorsement uh, of 17 newspapers across the state of California, editorial boards who all agree that it is time for somebody to come in and take an independent look at what's going on, regardless of politics, regardless of party. And I think that's what we need more of in more places, frankly, are problem solvers, not ideologues.
All right, Republican candidate for California State Controller, Lan He Chen. Thank you so much for coming on the show this morning. Good Thank to see you. you. Good to see and you. And still ahead.